The pathophysiology of SE is poorly understood. However, animal studies have shown that failure of endogenous mechanisms to terminate a seizure is the fundamental principle involved. The possible reasons for this failure to occur are 1. Excessive abnormal excitation during a seizure 2. Loss of endogenous inhibitory mechanisms These changes allow a single seizure to transform into SE and contribute to self-perpetuating nature and pharmoresistance of the disorder. Let us discuss the stages and mechanism. Stage 1. Initial milliseconds to seconds after onset of a seizure. There is release of neurotransmitters, ion channel opening and closing, and protein phosphorylation all set a stage for prolonged seizure. Stage 2. Seconds to minutes. The molecular events are followed by alterations in receptor trafficking, which includes endocytosis, mediated decrease in inhibitory GABA beta-2 or beta-3 and gamma-2 receptor subunits, increase in excitatory NMDA and methyl D aspirate receptors, increase in excitatory AMPA, alpha amino-3, hydroxy-5, methyl-4, isozaxolopropionic acid receptor, receptors. Stage 3, minutes to hours. Further changes include Alterations in the excitatory and inhibitory neuropeptide expression maintains the hyperexcitable state. Stage 4. Days to weeks. Genetic and epigenetic changes. There is increased or decreased expression of numerous genes. Epigenetic changes include genome-wide alterations in the hippocampal cell, DNA methylation. Altered regulation of microRNA regulates post-transcriptional gene expression. Now we move to etiology. The various etiologies that trigger SE include autoimmune encephalitis, perineoplastic syndromes, central nervous system infections, encephalitis, abscess, granuloma, herpes simplex encephalitis, malaria, drug issues, non-compliance with anti-epileptic drugs, drug toxicity, withdrawal from opioid, genetic diseases, Chromosomal aberrations, inborn errors of metabolism and malformations, metabolic disturbances, electrolyte abnormalities, hypercarbia, hypoglycemia and hypoxia, mitochondrial disorders, lactic acidosis and stroke-like episodes, Alpers disease, psychiatric, psychogenic spells, toxic, drug overdose, poisoning, Others, vasculitis, sepsis, hypoxia, cardiac arrest, and cerebral vascular diseases. Let's have a look at difference between convulsive SE and non-convulsive SE. Convulsive SE is the more common type of SE. It generally occurs when a person has prolonged or repeated tonic-clonic seizures. It usually occurs when tonic-clonic seizures last for five minutes or longer. A person going into second seizure before recovering from the first one. A person having repeated seizures for 30 minutes or longer. It causes sudden unconsciousness, muscle stiffening, rapid jerking of the arms or legs, loss of bladder control, and tongue biting. Non-convulsive SE. These symptoms are difficult to recognize than convulsive SE symptoms. It occurs when a person has long or repeated absence or focal impaired awareness seizures. A person may be confused or unaware of what's going on, but isn't conscious. Systemic complications of SE involves multiple systems. These include the early complications in the cardiovascular system, includes tachycardia and hypertension. And the late complications are bradycardia, hypotension, cardiac arrest, and shock. The early complications in the respiratory system include tachypnea, apnea with carbon dioxide retention, and the late changes include apnea, chain stokes, aspiration pneumonia, and neurogenic pulmonary edema. The renal complications include uremia, acute tubular necrosis, and myoglobinuria. The early complications in the automatic nervous system includes hyperprexia, 
salivary and tracheobronchial hypersecretion, excessive sweating, and bronchial constriction. The late complications include hyperexia. The early metabolic changes include lactic acidosis, hyperglycemia, and hyperkalemia, and the late changes include lactic acidosis, hypoglycemia, liver failure, and elevated prolactin. This algorithm describes the management of SC in different stages. Please take some time to study it. Now, let us look at routes of administration of anti-epileptic drugs. The potential routes of administration for anti-epileptic drugs and their delivery mechanisms are oral, swallowing, buccal mucosa, and sublingual, parenteral, subcutaneous, intramuscular, and intravenous, cerebrospinal, intrathecal, convection, and intraventricular, implant, intracranial and extracranial, intranasal, inhalation, transdermal, vaginal, gelling suppositories, rectal, gel and liquid. The following flowchart describes the management of recurrent seizures. The management of recurrent seizure includes ABC, followed by intravenous, IV, administration of 50 milliliters of 50% dextrose, Thiamine, 100 mg IV. Lorazepam is administered IV with a dosage of 4 mg. And then if needed after 10 minutes, it is repeated with 2 mg. Phenetoin, 20 mg per kilogram, or Fostanetoin, which is a parenteral phenoytin prodrug, is administered at a slower rate of 100 to 150 mg. Phenetoin equivalent per minute. If seizure persists, repeat phenetoin with a dosage of 5 to 10 mg per kilogram or phosphonetoin, 5 to 10 PE per kg IV, metazolam, 0.2 mg per kg IV load, followed by 0.1 to 2.0 mg per kg per hour, or profofol, 1 to 2 mg per kg per IV load, followed by 2 to 10 mg per kg per hour infusion is administered. EEG is monitored continuously. The underlying cause is investigated and treated complications of continuous sedation is managed. The infusion is tapered off if there are no seizures for 24 hours. We have reached the end of our discussion. In conclusion, we can say SE is the most extreme form of epilepsy. Changes in the inhibitory mechanisms, genetic and epigenetic changes, play an important role in the pathophysiology of SE. Classification of SE is based on semiology. Etiology, EEG correlates, and age. Convulsive SE is the more common type of SE. It generally occurs when a person has prolonged or repeated tonic-clonic seizures. The initial management of SE is brought about by administration of drugs through multiple routes.